But if I can oil my shoulder, 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 then I'm... When you think Adam Meisner's stuff can't get any worse, I come across this BS. And I've got to say, in all honesty, um, it's the biggest piece of dog shit. Now, his followers are accusing me of, you know, not knowing Tai Chi or whatever. But I am telling you right now. He is a fake. That motherfucker, that motherfucker back there is not real. He's teaching absolute garbage. And as a brown belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, I get to comment on this. I might not know Tai Chi Xuan, but I definitely know how to pin somebody down. Because I'm a salty fat man, and not because I am skilled at grappling. Anyway, let's break it down. Well, seeing that this BS is practiced without any resistance in mind, I'm just going to use a dummy. So let's get into that first technique. Because he's taken the range, the freedom out of my shoulder, I can't bring power back into him. Understand? Yep. But if I can find space, song, freedom inside, you on? Harder? Then I can change quite simply and come back into him as I see fit. And? Yep. But if I can find space, song, freedom inside, you on? Harder? Then I can change quite simply. Well, I don't know how we got into this position in the first place, but I'm assuming that it's from a throw. I would like some more context, so if anybody knows uh, where I can find more footage of this, please send it, send me a link down in the comments below. But, I mean, if we're here and we're going for some form of joint lock, doesn't matter if it's an Americana or a Kimura, I have not secured a pin at all in order to create impingement and thus this joint lock is kind of useless. So this fight for the joint lock, it's kind of unnecessary. All my opponent has to do right now is turn into me and get the superior position. All this to fight this off just to push someone off, it's kind of useless. I wouldn't say useless effort. He's not wrong. It's just mediocre. But once again, it seems like more effort than necessary. And that makes a terrible technique. When it comes to securing that joint lock, I need to make sure that my opponent is pinned so I can concentrate any form of impingement onto the shoulder. Doesn't matter if it is a Kimura or an Americana. I still need to secure the position because with my pin, my opponent has no way to move so I can concentrate that impingement where it needs to be. If my opponent can move, that relieves any form of impingement that I'm trying to create there. Hence, if I were to go for this Americana and I give too much space, my opponent can turn in or turn towards the shoulder that's being impinged or attacked and can relieve the pressure, but then that gives the back. And that's what I meant by resistance in mind. Not having to use strength, but what is the next position? What's the next problem that you have to deal with? So, let's now look at the second technique. If I move mechanically, I'm probably just gonna rip my shoulder. I can't move. It's impossible to move. But if I can oil my shoulder, 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 then I'm free. So we find ourselves at this mediocre form of Kezekatame where, you know, the guy on top is not actually sitting on him, just to the side, not having a very good underhook to the shoulder, and Adam kind of just turns his shoulder and pushes the face away. Now... When it comes to the actual pin, we should know we're kind of laying on the chest so that I can't sit up. We've got this underhook and we're shelving the shoulder so I could sit with my weight on him and that's going to give me 
the pin and making it very difficult to deal with. The other issue is, right, all this effort to push somebody off of you, but the person on top just doesn't swim through and, you know, reclaims the next position. Now dealing with Meisner followers, they say, oh, go touch hands with Meisner, which sounds very weird. Or feel Meisner's hands, which also sounds very weird. And then, you know, the problem is it's his hands versus my entire body at this point. I've got the top position, so I've got gravity on my side. And, you know, just understanding the movements, this is very easy to counter. Once again, this was practiced without resistance in mind. And I say that again, not using strength, but giving an appropriate response. So if somebody's going to move this arm to get the hand behind my head to push me, well, what Adam calls oiling the shoulder, saying stuff like that, well, you deserve an oil check. And you can control any man by his asshole. So if somebody was to do this, right, I could just swim through, switch my legs, be back into side control, and reclaim dominant position. At the end of the day, they, these techniques aren't wrong. They work. But they are awfully mediocre. And I say work because if two guys don't know what they're doing and they're taught this stuff, they might just pull it off on each other. This is extremely mediocre techniques and they can be easily counted. The fact is that he's showing a joint lock, a Americana, from a position where a pin has not been secured in order to establish impingement on that shoulder in order to break it just shows how little he knows about this aspect of martial arts, of grappling. And it just shows you that he is just making up absolute BS as he's going along. And it's because people get this idea of how special he is, and now he has to entertain those who are sticking around. Like I said, this is the worst Niwaza I have seen in a while. And if any of those Meisner followers say like, oh, but you don't do Tai Chi, so you don't know. Well, you can test out my knowledge, try and use these techniques on me, and I will prove you wrong. Hell, if I could get a chance to actually face Meisner in a type of grappling match, I'll take it. If we can define the rule set to benefit us both, I'm sure we could come to an agreement. That's what I want to say, Alhamdulillah, God give me everything. Alhamdulillah, I know you got this, they don't like this. Alhamdulillah, tomorrow night I'm going to smash your boy, guys. I'm going to smash your boy. But I'm not going to go pay a ridiculous amount of money for his seminars, where he will put limitations on his demonstrations to prove his point. I don't want it in a controlled environment. I want to see that it works. Test it under pressure. So, if you have any other uh, Niwaza uh, groundwork techniques from Adam Meisner, send it down in the comment section below and I'll break it down and disprove it. But until next time, take care, keep safe. I want to take you for a ride.